Hello everybody, this is your favorite poet again, the Gus William Jr. Uh, down here we are reserve a room in the Merritt Island Library in uh, Merritt Island, Florida, Far County, next to the R uh, Space Center. Uh, in very nice community. Long, long time ago it was founded by black by blacks. It was a black town that vanished after years because this was swampland and it was swampland was the only place you know further away was not can't be claiming state a worthless land like here and Cocoa Beach there was a uh, worthless land because you couldn't grow none it wasn't farmland farmland was the most valuable or land by the river so the town I, I'll be the name of the town later that was here we was first a little like community uh, no more than something like 60 people. Uh, and sticking on black history, I would like to uh, read a poem dedicated to uh, a community hero, a landmark, you know, a pillar of the community from the beginning. And his name was Richard E. Stone. And let me read the poem first, and I'll tell you his accomplishments later. Though the poem would likely go over his country, his uh, contribution. Let me start. A man named Stone. History can never condone the passing and accomplishment of a man named Stone. So it's the responsibility of this writer to express what he know, since the county he once resided in is his home. Born in 1902 in a wooden house along a street that bears his name. Half a mile south from there is the school that holds the same. His family held community services highest peak by organizing the free MLM service from Var County to Cocoa Beach. In the spirit of economic development, a professor of history can teach. It was Rudy Stone that mastered the art of the duplication by opening up funeral homes from here to Miami Beach. It was the business of mortuary, but the art of engineering was his first teach. Through the YMCA Automobile School in Detroit, Michigan, where an engineering degree was at its reach. As we know, knowledge married to intellect in an accident on Crossroad Street. He developed an automatic signal lights and engineering defeat. As so, seeing that history was asleep. When this genius was at his highest peak, standing on the road, I feel so ashamed. Thousands of cars passed by with signal lights but none bear his name. In the law library, there's no legal tool that can help him stake his claim. Lost in the midst of corporate was his fortune and fame. Only a Bavar Community College prototype bears his name. In the spirit of his character and mirrors his name, 33 other inventions in the motoration field he completed he also knew how to preserve, preserve white people color when they came upon their final rest and sleep. Where most who have broken, he remains. Similarly, expression of phase such as life and set his energies on other sites and maintain his harmonies for the rest of his life. The citizens of the community hold many stories that need to be said, like giving a passing rider named Zora Neale Hurston a place to rest her head, and bringing this community a piece of the American dream by organizing the Coco Black Indian baseball team and also 
lifting this community to the highest prestige by organizing a Liberty and Corporation League, which was now the Coco Rockless Civic League. I can go on, and this poem can grow long. Sometimes it's hard to believe that he's really gone, as life in this community carry on. May we never ignore the accomplishment or forget a man named Stone. Dedicated to Richard E. Stone. Special thanks to the Stone family for providing their support and information. He helped me, you know, abridge his life through this poem. Mm -hmm.